Yeah. Doug. Hello and welcome to Auto Shenanigans. How the devil are you? Have you had a good week? My name is John and thank you very much for joining me for another exciting episode of Forgotten Racetracks. Yes indeed, it's an abandoned racetrack episode. For several weeks we've been enjoying some of the motoring oddities to be found around the country and I thought it might be time to change it up a little bit. Today I've come to Essex, the county that's given us Gemma Collins and Towie. And if like me you're wondering what the fuck Towie is, it's that bullshit TV show called The Only Way is Essex. It's an absolute shit shower of a show is what it is. Essex is home to Colchester, but why is that interesting? Well, this town of 121,000 people used to be the capital of England. It was the Romans that not only made Colchester a capital city, but it was indeed the first capital city of England. It's also perhaps fair to say that Essex is the spiritual home of every boy racer that ever there was. Actually, I suppose these days it's more person racer than it is boy racer. That's fair. Does anybody remember the Basildon and the South End car cruises of 20 years ago? What a time to be alive. It was so much fun. These days, whilst a valiant effort is made by some to keep the scene going, speed cameras, complaints and injunctions have resulted in the person racer scene pretty much fading away. And speaking of fading away, let's have a look at today's forgotten racetrack, Arena Essex Raceway. Okay, yes, hi, welcome to voiceover. Due to technical issues, I'm doing a voiceover. Let's crack on. So I'm not actually sure if this racetrack has truly been forgotten. I mean, sure, it's abandoned, it's been sold off, and we're never going to see a race car on it again. But if you ask any car hooligan, sorry, I mean enthusiast, they've almost certainly a happy memory associated with Arena Essex Raceway. It opened in May of 1978 and was the idea of businessman and race driver Chick Woodroff. The land he purchased to construct the site on was that of an old cement works and you'll find it right next to the A13 near Purfleet and the Lakeside Shopping Centre. Oh yes, hi, me again, voiceover time once more. It's a simple oval circuit that's around a quarter mile long. Hot rod, banger and stock cars are just a few of the racing disciplines that we've seen at Arena Essex and in its later years the track opened to the public offering drift practice days and events which were immensely popular. Unfortunately being popular just wasn't enough it seemed. The cost of maintenance and insurance and compliance and a whole host of other things just kept going up and sadly these costs kept rising to the point where it was no longer financially viable for the racetrack to open. In November of 2018 Arena Essex Raceway shut its doors and the racetrack fell silent. I think the wide variety of racing seen at Arena Essex over its 40 year lifespan might go some way to explain why so many people are attached to this place. So many people got the chance to race their cars or enjoy a day out as a spectator, instilling nothing but happy memories. And now, it's gone. So what remains today? We do have to consider that the site was sold in 2018 and sold on to property developers. Just on that quickly actually, the site was sold for £8 million, which is an awful lot of money if you're buying suites, but for a prime chunk of real estate, £8 million seems like quite a low figure. I think somebody got shafted. That said, maybe with rising maintenance costs that we talked about earlier, it was just easier to do a quick sale and take the money and run. Anyway, the point is, is that today there's unlikely to be much left. During research for this film, I read that the demolition started on site in November 2020. Or did it? Let's see if we can have a look at what remains. Today I'm joined by, you know him as the transport manager, also known as Aidan. He's going to send the drone up in a short while and we'll have a look to see what we can find. guys thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed the film if you did there's a button specifically for that and if you wouldn't mind helping me out with that all important subscribe it'd be much appreciated my name's john you've been watching auto shenanigans and i shall see you guys next time for another exciting episode of i hmm, 
I think motoring oddities next week. I think we're going to get back to that. But in any case, I shall see you then. So take care. Bye-bye now.